Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to install PHP on a Server 2012 box. Let me switch over to my Server 2012 box and we'll continue. In order to install PHP we'll use the web platform installer services. And in order to do that we have to open IIS which is Internet Information Services. So we go down to our start bar and we click on the Internet Information Services IIS Manager update. Once it's opened up Click on the server that I'm actually want to update and then get new web platform components from the actions menu on the right hand side. Once that's opened up, click on products and then framework. And then you'll see a list of things that can be installed. Now, we're going to try installing PHP 5.6.30. So what we'll do is we'll click the add next to that. And then we will click install. It's saying that we require some prerequisites. PHP, PHP manager for IIS, Windows cache extension for PHP, and Windows driver 3.2 for PHP. So I'm okay with that, so I'll click accept. Let's give that a moment to install. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and create a test file for PHP, and then I'll be back with you. And we'll try and run the PHP and make sure that it's installed correctly. I actually created a PHP info test file to test PHP in the system. And what I'll do is I'll now go and show that to you. If we right click and explore our default website, you'll see I've created test.php. And if I edit that, you can see what's inside it. It's a very simple script for testing PHP. I am considering doing PHP tutorials in the future. I'm self-taught. Okay, so now we've got the PHP info in there. What we'll do is close that down, we'll open our IIS, check that it's still running. Go to our start bar, open up Internet Explorer, go to localhost and we'll see that IIS is definitely running and then add test.php which is what I call the file. This gives me a list of the PHP info so to speak. So that's how you install PHP on a Server 2012 box. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe you should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.